flips so good. Oh my goodness. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2020 Shelby Signature Edition Mustang. This thing is absolutely insane more insane than the GT500. I'll get into that a little bit later in today's video, but first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to Ed Kenley Ford for giving me some time with this Shelby Signature Edition Mustang. Check out the inventory link below. Let's get straight into the video. Under the hood of the Shelby Signature Edition, we have a supercharged 5-liter V8 that's paired to a 6-speed manual transmission. That's right, a 6-speed manual transmission. In terms of the whole setup on this, so obviously you have the supercharger with the tune. You've got high-performance fuel injectors. You've got a performance air intake with a high-flow filter, billet throttle bodies, oversized air intakes. You've got a cooling system with a radiator and an overflow tank with heat exchangers and... Yeah, just a bunch of stuff happening under the hood to give you a total of 825 plus horsepower. Now let's go over the front end of the Signature Edition. So first off, you guys will notice these massive stripes that go down the center of the hood, which are pretty neat. And then yes, this is all functional there on the hood for all of the venting, which I think is another nice little touch here with the Signature Edition. And then you can see you still get the full LED lights with the little fish gill accent lights, which again, just overall look really cool. I love all of the accenting down here. You can just see like how the little canards pop out right there. You've got the Signature front and grill as part of this package as well. And just look how massive massive this front splitter is like obviously it's going to be hard to kind of maneuver this and everything because of how large it is but it just completely transforms the front end of the car makes it look extremely aggressive like look at that thing coming at you that is just scary looking now let's go over the tire and wheel setup here on the shelby signature edition we've got 305 millimeter tires wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the front and the rear so yes you could do tire rotations on this car now for the brake setup we've got brembo brakes in the front and the rear six piston front four piston in the rear and you've got the uh, shelby logo on those brakes which looks pretty cool as for the tires they're pilot sport cup twos which are extremely sticky and then this also does come with performance track handling suspension from shelby and then it also does have racing wheel studs which is another nice little touch but let's actually take a closer look at these wheels themselves i really love the open design on them and how they're all blacked out obviously it has that kind of like sporty look just looks really aggressive and then yes that venting is functional this does actually come with brake cooling as another part of the package and then i love the little side skirts that go all along this shelby edition as well just looks really good and then notice that you've got carbon fiber mirror caps also a part of this package but yeah just look at the car from the side even from the side it's crazy aggressive got to get into the practicality of this Shelby Signature Edition. So you've got a regular Mustang trunk here. Nothing has really changed here in the back. So you get regular Mustang practicality, even though this is an over 800 horsepower track manual transmission, crazy, just lots of things happening here. But yeah, you just get a regular trunk. That's all I'm trying to say, guys. Now, coming around the back here, we've got a lot of crazy stuff happening. So, first off, we have this really cool spoiler that they've added that does have these stripes continue onto it. And yeah, you're going to see a million of these Carroll Shelby signatures all over this car. And then this is finished in high iconic silver, if you guys were wondering. And then you still get the full LED lights here that obviously just popped off. And then you can see that you get another Carroll Shelby signature right there with the signature edition, which is pretty cool. And then just down below, you can see the stripes continue and we've got the exhaust set up so you can see there's parking sensors above the exhaust this is a borla exhaust that has been tuned by shelby pretty cool little setup in terms of how it looks um, and you guys will love the sound of it later on in the video but yeah other than that i think the back end might be like the most restrained part of the car like the front looks crazy the back looks crazy but it's definitely not as crazy as the front so we've actually got the back seats here in the Signature Edition. I just love the look of the back seats, pretty much in every single Mustang. But this is pretty cool what they've done with the leather. You can see kind of like the crazy pattern they've done on the seats. But just a pro tip, you can pull these seats down, which I will for the review, and it lets a lot more exhaust noise into the cabin. So again, that's just kind of like my pro tip. If you buy this car, just pull these back seats down and you'll hear the exhaust even more. Oh yeah, ready for some exhaust sound, but uh, we gotta put this uh, back first so uh, 
be back with you guys shortly. Here's the door panel in the signature edition. So you can see you've got soft touch all over the door panel with the stitching. And then you can see you've got the memory seats just down below with the door lock and unlock, all of your window controls and your mirror adjustments. Nothing's really changed, but you do get a little Shelby logo right there. And then here are the seats at the front. So just as nice as the seats in the rear. So you've got all of the leather here. You've got another Carol Shelby signature logo right there. And then you guys can see all of the like interesting design there all throughout the seat. Just looks really unique. Your power adjustments there on the seat. And then we've got the pedal layout just down below. And again, we've got three pedal layout because it does have a manual transmission and another Carol Shelby signature. And then just up above, we've got little light controls right there. Sorry about the set with the sunlight. The steering wheel is manually adjustable. And there's one more look before we actually pop in. Now here's the steering wheel in the signature edition. So you've got soft touch around the entire steering wheel. You've got the little Mustang horse there in the center. And then you have the controls for the center stack, your voice command controls, phone controls, all that kind of stuff. You actually do get adaptive cruise control with this. And then you've got your volume controls as well. You've got little stock there for the turn signal. And then on the other side, you've got the stock for the windshield wipers. And by the way, steering is super heavy feeling, which I love, but that's the steering wheel. We've got the center stack here in the signature edition. So you guys can see that it's a full digital display. So you've got little center screen which you can basically use to scroll through a couple different menus just to give you different bits of information on the vehicle you guys can see I can press hold to reset the screen that it's on um, but yeah it just gives you different bits of information on the car itself nothing too crazy nothing groundbreaking with that but we actually do get some steering modes and some drive modes so first off of the steering modes notice that you've got the sport steering you've got the comfort and then you got the normal and that'll kind of change the weighting on the steering itself comfort right is going to be the lightest whereas sport is going to be on the heavier side but then we've got some drive modes too so we've got our normal mode you've got your sport plus and notice that the gauges will change with the sport plus and then we've got the track mode which the gauges will change once again and then you got the drag strip mode which i mean with 800 plus horsepower this thing's gonna do pretty crazy um if you ever have to use this drive mode then um well, you should probably be fearing for your life. No, just kidding. But yeah, it's pretty cool how it changes the gauge because we're set up with the different drive modes. And notice that we're almost at half a tank and we have about 115 miles of range. Just saying. Now, normally this is where we go over the infotainment system, but we've got a bunch of gauges. So you've got the regular little gauges here that come with the Mustang GT from the factory next to the vents. And then we've got these ones that have been added on by Shelby, which is pretty cool. Just all the different bits of information this tells you, especially like the oil temperature, right? That's something very important with a uh, 800 plus horsepower supercharged V8 that you're going to know. But yeah, it's pretty cool. All of that just above the infotainment system. Sorry about the little bit of glare that is on the screen. It's just that time of the day. But first off, we're actually going to pop it in reverse. You guys can see the backup camera. You just get a regular backup camera. So again, 825 horsepower plus track monster and you still get a regular reverse camera and then as for the infotainment system it's just a regular ford infotainment system you have all the regular controls on it you can see that you've got the little controls for the climate system all that kind of stuff this does come with a heated steering wheel so like there's nothing crazy with the infotainment system or the camera that's all normal this time below the infotainment system we've got a bunch of controls you got your controls for the radio and then we do have our controls for the little climate area as well you can see you've got heated seats and cooled seats for the front passengers and then down here we've got the little switches which are pretty neat so you've got the stop start button your hazard lights your stability control which uh, i would get used to driving this car before you ever use that button and then you got your steering mode select and then you've got your drive mode select and then you get a little 12 volt just down below that next to a usb but that's uh, that whole area now this is my favorite part about the car yes this is a manual transmission but they also give you a performance short throw shifter it says shelby there on the side i love how it's kind of like in the old school fashion looking kind of like a little pool ball i don't know i think it's pretty neat but you pull up and over for reverse so like that's completely unchanged and you guys can see just how notchy this is and just how short the throws actually are with this transmission i'll kind of talk about it a little bit more when i actually drive it which uh please wish me luck this is terrifying but really good shifter just feels really nice and it's just so notchy nice stitching all around the shifter and then you've got your regular brake here to the side and then you've got a couple of cup holders along with a center console which you guys can see that you've got a little usb another 12 volt in there and then you can thread a cable through with that as well and then finishing things up over here we've got the glove box which is normal 
nice trim up here but yes you get another signature in the signature edition maybe that's why it's called the signature edition because it has a million signatures over it but it's pretty cool that they give you that little plaque in your now finishing things up top we got our universal garage door openers you get your little light controls and then all black headliner here for the rest of the top and well, there's nothing else for me to talk about up here well we've got the sticker for this signature edition so you guys can feel free to freeze the frame on any part of this so you guys can read the entire option list on this sorry about that with the uh, glare on it again um, but you guys can read everything that this particular car comes with and then there is the warranty information that this comes with as well which is pretty neat and that all being said the full price is as you can see, $127,795, so you've got a Ford Mustang GT with, that's $51,900 and that's converted to this, which the conversion costs $75,895 and that's where you get the $127,000. And that all being said, well, let's see how this drives. A little bit scared, but let's do it. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off here on this signature edition. So visibility over the hood, I'm gonna be honest, it's not great. So the hood comes up quite a bit. You can see cool venting and all that stuff, but because the front splitter is so long and the hood's so long, it's kind of a scary situation. So you definitely wanna be extremely careful with this car. And then you guys can see visibility through both the mirrors. They do have blind spot monitoring, so that's a nice little touch. And they've got visibility all throughout the rest of the rear, which in normal Mustang fashion is relatively good for a muscle car. The back window's great, the side part just not so much. Um, but that being said, well, let's set off. Well, we are setting off here in the Shelby Signature Edition. And again, pretty nervous to drive this car. It's not difficult to drive, it's just, when you take into account the money that this car costs, it definitely is nerve wracking. Now I'm sure that you guys don't wanna see this driven in normal mode, so we've got it in the Sport Plus mode. Um, so far the clutch actuation is really good. This has so much power that it would be really difficult to actually uh, stall the car just because it's got so much power and torque. And yeah, the gear shifts are super smooth with this. Like it is surprisingly smooth from a gear shift perspective. Now from a ride quality perspective, uh, not so much. Oh, it revs up beautifully. Yeah, when you just blip it a little bit, it revs really, really nicely. Like, yeah, and it goes into gear so smooth. Um, definitely a lot better than that EcoBoost Mustang I drove just from the uh, blip ability with the throttle and then also um, just from how the transmission itself feels with this short throw shifter, definitely feels just night and day difference. A lot, just a lot better in this car absolutely love it yeah it's so nice it's got so much torque and the ratios are pretty good um they're relatively close so like even though this has a stupid amount of power you actually um have the ability to kind of go through the gears a little bit with this car um just because of how the ratios are with it yeah this this thing i'm impressed so far <laughs> this thing's nice it's really nice yeah, and in traffic, this is easy to drive. I'm so far, like, just from, like, a like I said, daily driver usability and all that in traffic, this is really, really easy to use. I am very impressed with uh, how easy this is to use, but I'll get out of this traffic, and then I'll get back to you guys in just a second. As you can see, we are turning onto the highway here. Gear shift still exceptionally smooth. The steering on this feels really good, too. So that's just partial throttle, guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this thing is, oh, this thing is terrifying. I, so obviously this is a brand new car, so I'm not going to um, go full throttle anyways. Um, but on top of that, it's not exactly the best weather. It's only 46 degrees outside. It flips so good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I wish you guys could see my face right now. I am making, <laughs> This is absolutely insane. 
they did such a good job with this car the transmission is perfect this is one of the best manual transmissions that i've ever driven like i had a shelby gt350 i've mentioned this in other videos and this is just as good if not better than that in terms of like how it feels with the throws and everything and how it blips it's perfect it is absolutely perfect this car is so underrated oh my goodness how did i not know about this before this thing is amazing and yes of course it's crazy fast over 800 horsepower you guys know that it is crazy fast but like look it's perfect like this makes you feel like a pro with the downshifts because it's so blippable oh my goodness this car sorry if this is like a crappy kind of like driving portion but like this is amazing this is like such a good car i am i don't i am speechless like honestly i am speechless like of course it sounds amazing of course it's fast but i didn't expect it oh in the pops out the back oh my goodness oh my gosh this thing wow man why does there have to be so much traffic wow this thing <laughs> this thing is crazy it gets so much grip too like obviously i'm not able to go full full throttle but still this is such an exciting car this is literally like we're starting off 2021 really nicely because this thing is amazing oh my gosh you can get little pops out the back and everything yeah this thing just far and beyond like exceeded my expectation and let's actually get into summing things up before i like start to freak out even more like a little kid like i already have so yes i feel like this is better than the gt500 i understand this is expensive but most dealerships have gt500s marked up tens of thousands of dollars over msrp this isn't and so if you look at the actual market value on a gt500 wait a second Oh my gosh, you get so many pops out of the exhaust. If you look at the actual market value on a GT500, it's just as much, if not more, than this car. But with this, you get a manual transmission, you get a very limited production number car, and if you guys like kind of like the newer look of the Mustangs, you get that newer look with it. You get the cool digital readout. The GT500 has that cool too, but just like one of the most exciting driving experiences. Oh my gosh, this thing is amazing. So yes, for me, I would rather have this over the GT500. I know some people might not agree with me, but this thing just with how, this is such a driver's car. This is by far the best performance car I've ever reviewed. I know it's a Mustang, but yeah, just hands down. Now that is gonna sum things up on this Shelby Signature Edition Mustang. Absolutely insane car and it looks beautiful in the sunlight right there, but Again, a huge shout out and thank you to Ed Kenley Ford for giving me some time with this signature edition. Check out their inventory in the link below. I will see all of you in that next video.